Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So before starting today's video, I would like to thank each and every one of you for giving me such immense support. And today we are 10,000 strong. So thanks a lot, everyone. Keep supporting me. And guys, today's video is a very special video. I will show you all how to do realistic rendering using V-Ray and Lumion. And for the people who are here on my channel for the first time, my name is Saransh Singh and I'm an architect by profession. I keep making such videos on a regular basis. So feel free to check out my other playlist also. And without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, the first thing that you need to do is download V-Ray. And to download V-Ray, the link for downloading V-Ray software I will be providing at the end of this video so try watching this video till the end and guys let's jump onto V-Ray and see what settings and what changes you need to do in your settings to make or to get a realistic render so yeah let's jump on so guys uh, here on your screen you can see um, I have just made a basic uh, interiors like I haven't done a lot of things just basics so this is my interiors and you can put in anything that you want over here but the main thing that i wanted to show you is this settings the v-ray settings that i use so go on your settings tab click on first v-ray then go on your settings then don't change anything over here just go on your camera and uh, whatever settings you want you can set it from here this is your exposure value keep it on 14 or 13 depending on how much sunlight is coming in your room so i have kept it in this way and uh, depth of field you don't have to do anything about it just yeah just do this thing uh, keep the highest setting for your renders so that the image size will be bigger and you can zoom in 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 it properly use denoiser uh, denoiser is very important turn it on so this is the basic thing environment uh, i haven't done a lot but you can even insert some environment if you want so environment setting is just basic then go on the render parameters set all these settings to what i have set on because these are the optimum settings anti-aliasing filter is there then just keep it on this global illuminations just copy these settings what i have said what i have kept it on so these are basic things that you have to uh, keep in mind so the subdivides keep it on 1500 sample size 0 0.02 ray trace on 4 advanced camera parameters so these sensitivity you don't have to change anything but you can change the shutter speed the more the more the shutter speed the less light it will take and the less the shutter speed the more light it will take so keep this thing in mind these are basics of photography and uh, denoiser keep it on denoiser is very important uh, if it's not here then it will be over here so just keep it on and these are your basic settings then uh, a very important part that people don't usually think about is the material so getting a realistic render is all about choosing the right materials and right material with bumps so here you can see like these are my material library and in this like i will i will just show you like what all materials are there so you will find this in the in your v-ray so these are my materials that I have used in this entire thing. If you want to see what material is where, it's very simple. Go here, take this, select this. So this is carpet. Here it will be carpet. And the very important thing over here is the bump map. So these are the reflection settings, refraction settings. You don't have to do anything over here because it's a carpet. It doesn't reflect like a metallic structure or a glass or any any um, reflective structure it is it is kind of matte so what you have to go and do here is adjust the bump amount so as you adjust this can you see like the bump amount is increasing and uh, i will keep it low only because yeah 
it's it's not carpet it's sofa so i don't want it to be very bumpy it will look start looking like a carpet but over here you can make it more bumpier so the bump map see i have already increased the bump over here to give it more of a natural and realistic feel so that is very important part over here and uh, then you're all set and just press render so uh, as you can see uh, the rendering quality it's getting better and always use high quality v-ray materials in the settings like you will have all the v-ray materials already and i don't think so you will need to import or export anything from v-ray like you do get high quality materials from outside outside libraries like you will get bump maps and everything i will show you how to add bump maps also i don't have bump map but i will just give you a demo like from where you can add bump to your texture so guys it took me a long time uh, to render this you can hear my pc shouting <laughs> because kafi zyada load aa jata hai iske upar when whenever you are rendering the processor is loaded as you would have seen while the rendering process was on the processor was fully loaded and gpu was doing nothing so yeah this is something that you should keep in mind for uh, vray especially vray is more of a processor based software so it won't be using uh, a lot of your gpu but it will be using a lot like 100% of your processor so that is one thing and after you after you finish your rendering so obviously the light as you can see on the screen is not very bright it is dull and things that you have to edit it in uh, photoshop or lightroom so if you don't have those softwares i will provide the link if you want you can mention it in the comment section and i will provide the link for lightroom and photoshop so this is how my final uh, rendering looks like and uh, it's not pure v-ray i have done some photoshop editing also like mostly light editing like i have edited the light the texture the contrast and things like that so you have to do some post processing to get the uh, super realistic feel to any image or any rendering and guys this video is getting too long to make a lumion tutorial but uh, you guys can see my previous video i have made a video on lumion like how to render in lumion so you guys can refer to that and the v-ray settings that i just used on this pc you guys can go and check the link in the description you will find the v-ray settings you can just go in v-ray and uh, just if you if you see here on the bottom part if you go in settings you guys can load a render settings so this will be a file that you have to select and just click open and this will get all the v-ray settings that i have just done to your pc and if you want any kinds of help or any kinds of doubts that you have regarding v-ray or any kinds of rendering software go ahead mention it in the comment section i will definitely help you all with it because rendering is something that i love to do so yeah if you can go ahead mention it in the comment section and guys uh, thank you for all your support keep supporting and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead subscribe and hit a like take care of yourself see you soon bye bye